I was just wondering if you feel that you deserve like clean air, clean water, clean soil. Do you come to this park often? <laughs>here today with another Venus in the science video and today we're going to be doing the Venus in cancer so I have made an introduction video to Venus you can click links up above and in the description box below to watch to get a better understanding of what Venus is really doing in your chart and then you can kind of come back and watch this video so this video will be divided to four parts first it will be the dressing style and the mannerisms of the Venus in cancer the seduction style of the Venus in Cancer and then what you're attracted to and lastly the relationship and the love style of the Venus in Cancer. So if you're watching this and you are a straight woman, the parts that apply to you will be the dressing style and the way of expression, mannerisms, how you seduce and your love and relationship style, so three parts. If you're watching this and you're a gay woman, all four parts of the video will apply to you. If you are a straight man, the parts that apply to you will be your relationship, love style, and what you're attracted to. And if you're a gay man and you're watching this, the parts that apply to you will be your relationship, love style, as well as partially what uh, the way that you seduce. So let's get started. Now, with a Venus in Cancer, I feel like these people don't necessarily follow a certain trend um, in the way they dress and they're more kind of like they present themselves in a simple way you know simple outfits kind of casual no fuss about them and they kind of uh, are very much focused on comfort whatever is like more loose and comfortable and stretchy they kind of uh, prefer to wear those kinds of clothes. And I see a lot of grays and whites and uh, blacks and uh, brownish tones. And they also really like to, for some reason, wear the um, kind of um, fitted turquoise dress like Courtney Cox has got on here. As well as I think Cameron Diaz also was seen wearing a similar kind of outfit as well. So they really like this kind of look. Well, they tend to hold a very mature, womanly kind of aura and presence about them. Kind of even motherly if you want to look at it that way. Uh, but generally it's a very caring kind of aura about them. Some of them from time to time might really like the more bohemian or gypsy style because after all, cancer is that sign that like is very intuitive and is in tune with the psychic realms as well so they can kind of like uh, Mary Kate Olsen here where she's kind of like a little bit more bohemian type of style and they can cancer kind of is kind of sometimes considered to rule like witchcraft and things like that as well as you know Scorpio and Pisces and things but yeah so they kind of have that look about them now when it comes to the seduction style of the Venus in Cancer, it's kind of hard to know if they're seducing you because also within yourself as a Venus in Cancer, it is hard for you to mm, let yourself be completely loose to that game of seduction because you're cautious. So it's hard to know if the Venus in Cancer is actually interested and they're trying to seduce you. And if you really do like someone and you can kind of feel like, okay, maybe they kind of like you too or maybe they're like a good friend to you, you want to show them that you like them by letting them know that you know them. Like you know their wants and their needs, especially when it comes to food. You want to show them that you really know what they like to eat. So you might buy something that the person likes to eat. You might cook something that the person likes to 
eat, and things like that. Um, you with the Venus ca in Cancer also like to bond with another person by talking about your family and having another person share things about their family and bond through that. <laughs> now, if, they, if the Venus in Cancer knows that you, there's a potential that you could also like them, you know, you, you with the Venus in Cancer will be there for that person. You will assist them and you want to help them with kind of like practical things as well as emotional things that's going on with another person. You will listen to their problems as well as drive them to work. You will show that you care a lot. Now, what are you attracted to? If you have a Venus in Cancer, you'll be attracted to kind of the, the mannerisms and the expression of the celebrities that I showed you earlier, as well as you're more attracted to a more traditional feminine way about a person. You like someone who's really caring and someone who really knows your needs without you having to verbally tell them all the time. Someone who's a mind reader. <laughs> you don't mind if they're a little bit shy and if they're a bit passive aggressive. You kind of might probably prefer that as opposed to someone who is very much of an initiator. But most importantly, you're really attracted to someone who has a comfortable energy that you can feel really comfortable being around. That's really, really important. You want to feel like you're when you're with them, you feel like you're at home and you're comfortable to open up. You might also prefer someone who's got an artistic personality, you know, someone who um, is maybe a bit fragile and has like watery eyes. You could be attracted to that. Even if they cry a lot, that's like okay for you. You want to be there to protect them and to comfort them. And you would really like it if that person is authentic and even like innocent. Yeah. Now when it comes to the Venus and Cancer's relationship and love style, I really feel like this Venus sign, if you are trying to get into a relationship with another water sign or another earth sign, this relationship will take a while to get started, <laughs> most likely, um, because Venus and Cancer takes a while to really open up. And same with the other water and earth signs, maybe except Pisces, so you can kind of jump in there, but they're still pretty passive, so there's that. But of course, if they are pairing up with another more fiery or airy signs, then things can kind of be sped up a little bit. So the Venus in Cancers can, on the kind of lower vibration, you can kind of take rejection really personally. So you really fear that. So this can result in two things. So one of them would be that you can kind of become late bloomers in terms of relationships. So you might not have that many relationships or you might have your first relationship later on in your life. Or um, in the second case, you can kind of choose to be with someone. You might not be a late bloomer, but you can choose to be with someone that you feel really safe with, that you can, that you're sure that person won't hurt you. And so there is a risk that comes with the second choice is that there's a risk of being dominated by a partner. Um, there is also the risk of kind of being a stagnant relationship that doesn't really grow. So both of these situations can kind of result in some kind of a bit of an unhappiness in a relationship situation. But yet with the Venus in Cancer, you kind of stay and try to make it work. So, you know, the balance here comes when the Venus in Cancer can find a balance between stability and changeability because that is the moon at the core. The moon wants security and stability because the moon rules Cancer. The moon also wants changeability because the moon is always flowing and changing to its own internal rhythms. So, you know, you probably need a relationship that kind of allows you to emotionally um, change your mind with certain things in the relationship a lot if that's what you need to do. Um, you need to have a relationship where you can emotionally be expressive and where you can emotionally kind of do things within your own rhythm. However, that uh, relationship also has to allow, has to give you some security as well in terms of maybe material security or um, security in terms of the love, like the love is has to be lasting and solid. So when you are in a relationship with a Venus in Cancer, you really need that closeness with someone, physical and emotional closeness. 
you need kind of a reassurance of the other person's feelings for you as much as you're going to reassure that person a lot that you love them, that you're thinking about them, that you miss them, things like that. It's all about the closeness. And of course, you, you know, want the other person to get along well with your family. So if you're really into them, you're gonna bring them to meet your family or to have them be at home with you so you can really feel it'll be easier for you to unravel and feel that sense of intimacy and closeness. You want to bond with somebody over anything that brings comfort and coziness. Yes, coziness is the word here. You know, like your favorite foods or favorite movies and favorite games that you like to play together, but it brings a sense of coziness to, to you and your partner. Now, there's a strange thing that can happen with Venus and Cancer people is that they can be a little bit passive aggressive. So if you're with one of them and they say like, no, sometimes they might mean yes, but they don't want to say yes because it's kind of hard. For the, it's like the energy is hard to be straightforward and direct because they still fear that rejection. If they haven't, you know, um, develop an inner security yet, then they'll kind of be like, no, and they actually mean yes, yes, and they actually mean no. So you're gonna have to kind of be a mind reader if you are with them. However, a more secure Venus in Cancer, one that finds security from within, will not do that. They will know, they will say what they want, and they will understand that if you reject them, or if you say no, or if you don't understand them, then that's okay. They, uh, they know deep inside that it's not that you don't love them and things like that it's just the way things are and they love themselves so one of the things that i love most about this venus placement is how they make you feel you know if the venus in cancer loves you they love you deeply from their heart like the love is really coming from a very deep place and they'll have this thing about them where they make you feel like you can put your heart in their hands and they're gonna shelter it and they're gonna nourish it and they're gonna protect it and they have this really nice and protective um aura protective energy about them especially the men who have venus in cancer you feel like you just be safe and you feel like hey this man is gonna embrace me in the tough times and he's gonna um, um, sorry, I have a moon in Cancer, so I'm kind of getting into the mood here. So yeah, he's kind of, and I have a Mars in Cancer as well, so <laughs> yeah, this kind of man is really going to make you feel so like, um, he's so sexy in his, the way that he, not literally physically, but in his way of being. It puts his arm and uh, embraces you and tells you that everything is going to be okay with him. So that's my take on the Venus in Cancer. Um, if you have this Venus placement, then please leave a comment below and let us know what your experiences have been. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below to come along with us on more astrology growth journeys, learning and growing together and having better relationships with the people around us. If you've already subscribed, then thank you very much. And to everybody, have a beautiful day. I'll see you very soon. Bye.